How to avoid customer service disasters. Welcome to Fortify, where we help you fortify your business. Now each week we pick a random topic chosen by the Fortify button. So let's see what this week's episode is going to be about. A no-nonsense approach to providing outstanding customer service. Let's face it, if you don't take care of your customer concerns, they're more likely than ever to bash you on social media or of course to their friends and colleagues. Now you already know your main customer concerns. The most common ones are that there's something wrong with the customer experience or your product or service. It's just not working as described or as expected. Or maybe you're not being proactive and your customers are calling for a status update. Let's say you have a project or you're consulting. Or, of course, they might have a billing issue, a discrepancy on what they thought and what you did. Or maybe they're just unclear of the project scope or the timeline. I know that happens to us. A lot of times there's missed expectations or poor communication between your team and the actual customer. Now the last thing you want is your brand being slammed all over social media, especially Facebook and Twitter and any other social media channel where your customers hang out. In addition, think of all the time you spend dealing with irate customers, when most likely those problems could have been avoided. Remember, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Now the good news is that with a few simple, easy to follow tips, you and your team can reduce and actually transform unhappy customers. So start by getting a clear understanding of the main customer service problems that you face in your business. Then I want you to create a wow customer experience plan to preempt those avoidable issues. So you need to know what they are and then create plans to preempt it. And of course that starts by training your team how to properly recognize and then of course respond to the concerns so that they don't pass through the filter. Now you can make a huge impact when your team is empowered and educated to take care of customer concerns without having to escalate them or move them up the ladder. Customer service is not a department. It should be part of your culture for all of your employees. Bottom line, your customers need to feel like they've reached someone that actually cares. Now recently I booked a hotel room using my reward points and it was 30,000 points for the room. The day of the reservation I get a call from the manager that they've bumped me to a different hotel property. I said, no, you're not bumping me because when they bump you, they still keep all your points and I didn't want to do that. So I said, no, you're keeping me at the hotel. She said, well, we've already canceled that reservation. We'll have to make a new reservation for you. I said, do whatever you need to do. I just need to make sure I'm staying there. I didn't think much of it. And then I opened up the app and I looked at the app and when they redid the reservation, instead of putting one night in, they put three nights in. And then they took another 90,000 points out of my account. So now I'm down 120,000 points for one night, which should have cost me only 30,000 points. Well, you can imagine being me, Ford, I type A, I pick up the phone and I start bitching at them. Hey, wait a second, you just took 120,000 points out of my account. They said, no problem, we'll change it. And you know what they did? They changed it all right back to my American Express and took $135 out of American Express. So now I'm down 120,000 points and $135. Now a lot of you are thinking, well, big deal Ford, put up with it. Well, it is a big deal to me, but I had to make about 17 different phone calls. I had escalated, I had to talk to the honors department, I had to talk to the hotel, I had to talk to guest services to finally get this all fixed. When, if the first person I talked to would have been empowered and educated on how to handle the problem, it could have been fixed instantly, which it was by the time I talked to the 17th person that actually was trained on how to solve the problem. Now a few final thoughts. I recommend that you role play customer service solutions with your staff. You can poll your customers to find out what their main concerns are, which I'm sure you probably already know. Monitor your social media especially to make sure that you respond quickly to any concerns. Now if they're angry and yelling, don't interrupt the customer. Let them run themselves down. They need to feel heard and validated before you begin to solve the problem. So even if you know what the answer is and you can help it, let the customer vent a little bit and then start addressing the problem. But you need to make sure you listen carefully. I recommend that you have scripts prepared that give you and your staff a blueprint to work from for providing outstanding customer service so that it becomes second nature in delivering it. 
and have regular customer service training. It brings somebody in or have them go to webinars or have them learn when they go to a conference. I like to have lunch and learns where you can set them up maybe weekly, you meet with your staff and you cover some of the concerns that you're having to make sure that you're tweaking your customer service plan for any new issues that might come up. And lastly, you know, maybe you need to have a success library, some books or, or reference materials that your team can go through on specific strategies for customer service. Now here's your action step for this week's episode. I want you to get with your team and I want you to pick the top three biggest customer complaints or concerns that you have. And then I want you to write out an action plan or a specific script or process to address each one of those concerns. Well, that's it for this week's episode of Fortify. I want to hear your horror stories Tell me in the comments below and share this video with everyone on your team because everybody who's customer facing is involved in customer service. And if you like what you see, subscribe to be notified of upcoming episodes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Fortify where we help you fortify your business. It was good. No, I think you were good. I Don't cut laugh. a lot of shit out. I'm not. He's laughing at me. Why does he laugh at me all the time? Is that, this seems kind of weak. Missteps? That sentence is in English. Oh, that's what I was, oh, oh yeah, yeah, like you knew that and you're just waiting for me to figure it out. Let me just start over. Okay. Ready? Start the story.